Hi, I'm Liz. I'm a product manager at the Origin team, and today I'll be demoing our brand new AI budget builder. Creating a budget is a critical part of tracking your spending, but what we heard from members is that actually setting a realistic budget and sticking to it was much harder. And when they weren't able to stick to a budget, it led to them being discouraged and they ended up stopping tracking their spending altogether. And so we wanted to create a tool that allowed members to set a really realistic budget by doing an entire analysis of the last six months of their cash flow, how they've spent in every single category, where their income sources are coming from, in order to generate a personalized diagnosis. When they come into the product, we summarize for them over the past six months what their average income, average savings, and average expenses are. We then use AI to find unique insights and opportunities among the cash flow trends for every single member. This means that when we provide a diagnosis, every single insight is completely personalized and customized to that member. So in this case, this member has constant negative savings months. It can be really hard to stick to spending less than you're making on a monthly basis. And what the AI identified is that four of the last six months, expenses exceeded income, resulting in negative savings. This pattern indicates a need for a more consistent spending habit to avoid that financial strain. They also have income volatility, which is impacting their savings. So it's not necessarily that their spending is, is inconsistent, but it's that their income is quite inconsistent. Their income averages or varies greatly from as low as 3,000 to as high as 9,000 in January. And this inconsistency is making it challenging to maintain a savings rate, especially when expenses are, are pretty consistently high. And lastly, there's an insight around their high discretionary spending. So categories like travel and dining and shopping are consistently high, contributing to overspending. Reducing these could help align your expenses with your income and improve savings. So just three really helpful pieces of information to understand what the problem is and where it's coming from. Now, every single member is different. Some people have lots of savings on a monthly basis and they're looking to find other opportunities to save more. Some people are really trying to work their way from having dug into their savings significantly and maybe they're working back for some debt. And so this diagnosis will be personalized to them. So the next page is where we suggest a new monthly budget. We suggest it and we show that monthly budget in relation to the past six months of spending. So you can have a visual understanding of how that compares to those previous months and how realistic it may be. Why a budget of $5,000? Well, we want to create a budget that's achievable and slightly below their average income. And it explains why this is a feasible budget for me to set. And so I'm going to continue. And even though we have this opportunity to use AI in our product and we are creating a recommendation that we think is accurate and achievable, we know that we won't always nail exactly what the member wants to do. Maybe they want to reduce their spending even more. Maybe they want to give themselves more buffer. And so there's always an opportunity to make an adjustment at this page. Let's say that a member is quite ambitious and they start to lower their budget even further. What we share is we share insights around why saving an additional $600 a month is quite ambitious. It is much lower than they're typically spending. And so we think we put this in yellow because it's a risky goal, given that it's really quite different from their current spending habits. Then on the other hand, if you go high, there are, there are certain times in which by spending this much and setting a budget this much, you'll actually dip into your savings or incur more debt. We also give reference to how much more they're spending compared to their typical spend. So for this case, I'm going to follow a budget, let's say right around here, or I can also manually put it in. Let's say I want to do 4,750. So when I set my budget, I then have an opportunity to either be done here and all I want to track towards is that total budget number. That means it doesn't matter where I spend that money as long as I don't spend any more than 4750 But we don't stop there and we also allow members to create individual category budgets. At this point, we run the analysis again based on the final recommendation that they've provided and we generate opportunities for them to make up that delta. 
let's say that they have to cut their spending by about $1,000, we try and find the opportunities for them to eliminate that spending. So let's say I wanna keep my household budget the same, I'm gonna add that one. I also want to follow this recommendation for drinks and dining budget, groceries. I don't wanna limit my travel and vacation more than this, but personal care, I wanna include that as well. So then I can see here the suggested budgets for every single category. Again, focused on where the model thinks that I have the best opportunity to make a difference. Everything that is not included will be put into an everything else bucket and still tracked. So I'm gonna set my category budgets. Since I already have an entire budget set up, this is just confirming that I was replacing it with the new suggested amounts. And now I can see here all the budgets that I have in addition to my total budget. I can go in, I can add more if I still wanted to. For example, if I realized after the fact that I actually did want a budget for travel and vacation, I could just quickly add one there. But otherwise, my budget is ready to go. I can track it, and at any point in time, I can rerun that analysis by going through the AI flow again. So we've gotten some incredibly exciting first feedback from this experience. Again, our goal is to help people make realistic and achievable financial goals so that they feel encouraged to keep tracking and managing their finances.